what are HDF5 files? So you will find HDF5 uh, quite a bit in Kaggle because some of the large data sets, especially in, for uh, storing image data set, uh, they are highly used. So HDF stands for Hierarchical Data Format Version 5. It adopts a file directory-like structure to store data, and this allows you to access the data within a HDF file, similar to how you access a file on your computer within a folder using a directory. Let's go to this very nice website that uh, uh, this organization is presenting the overall uh, structure and what these HDF5 files actually represent. So uh, look at this image. Um, it uh, the, these HDF file files actually adopts a file directory like structure, like I was saying, and the folders within HDF5 files are called groups where you will further find subgroups and data sets. And the HDF file formats are self-describing. This means that each file, group, and data set can have associated metadata that describes exactly what the data are. Uh, so following the example above, we can embed information about each each site to the file, such as a full name, XY location of the site, description of the site, any documentation of interest, etc. So yeah, anyway, so and uh, about the compression and efficient efficient subsetting, uh, the HDF file format is a compressed format, and that's why it is so much popular to save large data set. The size of the data contained within HDF file is optimized, which makes the overall file size smaller, even when compressed. However, HDF file files often contains big data and can can thus be can thus still be quite large. A powerful attribute of HDF five is data slicing, by which a particular subset of data that can be extracted for processing so you can so this is important and we will see an example of this uh, in a second that you can actually uh, take slice by slice uh, and extract data accordingly uh, okay let's go to uh, this data set i found in kaggle which is relatively smaller because most of the hdf5 file formats are so large this is just 448 mb and so i quickly make a made a notebook and in Python, there's a beautiful package, this H5PY, you never need to first install it, and this will help you reading HDF5 files. So here I'm uh, installing H5PY first, and then importing H5PY, and also importing NumPy and PD, etc. And then just defining the path, and here I'm reading this H5 path. So let's, um, let's run everything before this. Run, run before. Oh, sorry, I don't need to run the first cell because that will take a couple of minutes of time. Run before. So after uh, loading the file, I am reading the keys from the first level by f.keys and from the output you can see when you run this, you'll get this output and uh, from this you can see that um, the first group level only contains this list format with a string. You can further read this. Uh, this is the first group, so I'm naming it group 1 and you can read this uh, by doing f table and run it and it will give you just the string. And that's why it's saying one member here and of course uh, this will be different for different data sets uh, for this particular data set that i'm reading here that is uh, it's an mx hd5 latest statement train only for this data set this is the structure i have uh, sometime at this level you have two members three members five members whatever and then i am even reading further uh, group one dot keys and here i am getting uh, keys view hdf5 column so this is again just one member now let's dive in further that is next i'm doing group two equal to group one columns because and the columns i'm taking from here and group two dot keys will give you this whole uh, thing and here i have lots of members you can drill down further by doing something like that h1 group b1 because i'm reading these b1 here and when you print that you will i'm getting the stable column b1 so the the idea is that um, i am going uh, deeper down by moving through the groups subgroups and so on and thereby extracting the information at from the corresponding group and exactly this kind of nested structure makes hdf5 suitable for saving some of the complex data for example here they are giving that uh, 
uh, this means that HDF5 can store any of the following or more in one file. So the first example is temperature, precipitation and PAR that is photo photosynthetic active radiation data for a site or for many sites. Uh, all these in a single file. Then uh, for Kaggle, you will see many data, image data sets saved in this format. That's because a set of images that cover one or more areas, each image can have unique special information associated with it. The whole thing, this can be saved in a single HDF5 file. And the field data for several sites characterizing insects, mammals, vegetarians, climate. Yeah, so this kind of nested structure makes it beautiful uh, to save this kind of data in HDF5 files.